Omugakira, the local name for the Nile in western Uganda, is the most legendary and, for many, the most romantic waterway in the world. From the earliest of civilizations, man has depended on the Nile to water the land and make it fertile. The Nile, which starts in Lake Victoria and flows for over a distance of 6,400 kilometers, is the longest river in the world. It flows into the sea in Alexandria, Egypt. John Hannington Speak finally reached what he proved to be the source of the river in 1862, when he became its first Western visitor. Today, as it flows fast and furious over the Bujagali Falls, two kilometers downstream, one can see why over many centuries it was believed to have magical powers. Yet, it will take three months for the waters to reach the sea. By promoting bird watching, gorilla trekking and mountain biking in Uganda, most tourist companies have ignored the source of the Nile as a tourist destination. The discovery of the source of the Nile is widely recognized as a landmark in the history of Uganda and Africa, so these changes should bring more tourists and new hopes to an impoverished region. I think Uganda is a bit of a country. People have destroyed the things in their own area. They are coming to see Uganda. And would like to preserve that natural gift from God so that people can come from outside and enjoy it. At the same time, ourselves enjoy and have pleasure and at the same time have economic living. Until 1970s, tourists found Uganda's breathtaking scenery and abundant wildlife compared favorably with their East African counterparts. But during Idi Amin's reign of terror, law and order collapsed, leaving much of the country's wildlife under the constant threat of poaching, while most of the hotels and tourist lodges were being looted. Faced with this problem and others, including the urgent need to build up their hard currency reserves, the obvious solution was to market its natural resources. Government figures indicate that the number of foreigners that visited Uganda in 1997 are almost threefold what they received in a decade. Now, with the latest security limitations on many of Uganda's major tourist sites, visitors are arriving at the source of the Nile and to wonder at it, as did Hannington speak when he first discovered this mighty river. Thank you.